Today, the most advanced fighters are the development of the fifth generation. The countries that own them can be counted on the fingers of one hand. However, the superpowers are not going to rest on their laurels and are already in full swing to create the next generation of machines. Among such projects are the European Tempest, the Russian program launched in 2016, and of course the American NGAD, which I already told you about in one of my issues. But few people know that in addition to it, the United States is working on a second prototype codenamed FAXX, about which we'll talk today. This is Military News. Let's go! So the FAXX is part of the next generation air dominance program, which we already know. What's noteworthy, unlike the FX, the initiator of the project was the Navy. The new aircraft is to replace the FA-18, which has been in service for over 40 years. Of course, so far, one of the main fighters of the Navy can cope with the assigned tasks. But when confronted with a hypothetical threat from China, it'll fail. This is due to the insufficient combat range of the Super Hornet and the fact that China has a powerful ballistic missile such as the DF-21D, which can hit the target at a distance of 1,450 kilometers. Besides, quite soon the service life of FA-18, estimated at 9,000 hours, will come to an end. Above drawings, company Boeing worked on the aircraft back in 2009. She presented his first concept of the aircraft and later in 2013 updated it. And even though now the project is still at the initial stage, serial production is scheduled to launch in the next decade and by 2037 to present a whole line of modern fighters. However, the situation is overshadowed by the low financing of the program, slowing down its development. On how much money is allocated to the FAXX is difficult to say yet, but many sources argue that the amount significantly differs from that provided for a similar project of the Air Force. Because of the fairly limited budget, the U.S. Navy had to squeeze. Thus, they've already refused to purchase 36 carrier-based Super Hornets in the period from 2022 to 2024 which helped save about $4.5 billion, which will now go to the design of the advanced model. Given all these financial constraints, it's not entirely clear whether the FAXX will be a brand new development as originally envisioned or will still be an improved version of the existing deck fighter. As for the cost of a production model, it's safe to say that one FAXX will cost the U.S. government no less than $100 million. Well, now let's take a closer look at the appearance and characteristics of our hero. The fighter's made on the tailless scheme with a lambda-shaped wing, visually reminiscent of the YF-23 Black Widow II, once lost to the Raptor. In addition, it has a front horizontal plumage, but the vertical plumage is likely to be absent. At least that was the case in the 2013 concept. The aircraft is designed with an open architecture design that will allow it to connect different systems and sensors depending on the specific mission. The project will be created in a manned version with room for a co-pilot as well as in an unmanned version, which is the bet for modern combat. The advantage of the FAXX is the smart shells, the essence of which is the integration of sensors and electronics into the fuselage of the aircraft to increase performance while reducing drag and increasing speed and maneuverability. The main trump card of the development of the NIFCCA, or Naval Integrated Command, which is based on situational awareness and a focus on wide-range cooperation, this means that every unit in the strike group, in the air, on the surface, or underwater, will be connected to the network through a series of data links. This technology will allow the pilot to get a clearer view of the battle space and coordinate with the rest of the team. The fighter will be able to interact quickly and coherently with equipment such as the Northrop Grumman E-2D destroyers of the Arleigh Burke DDG-51, Nimitz, and Gerald R. Ford, as well as submarines. 
There's very little information about the propulsion system of the aircraft so far. There are assumptions that the fighter will be equipped with an engine with an adaptive cycle. The attitude of the Air Force and Navy is quite the opposite. In addition to the FAXX, we'll have to install high power storage due to the abundance of electronic equipment and weapons of a new type. And to maintain motion at low speed power plants will be supplemented by electric generators. It's planned that the development will be able to reach a supersonic speed of Mach 5, which is equal to about 5,600 kilometers an hour. Its combat radius is to be around 1,000 nautical miles, that's a little over 1,850 kilometers. Its payload matches or exceeds the payload of its predecessor. Regarding the time spent in the sky, the designers are claiming the possibility of 50 flight hours, but only for the unmanned version. Fundamentally new will be the armament of the fighter. The fact is that the emphasis is not on speed and stealth as it was with machines of the last generation and the ability to crush or at least suppress enemy defenses. U.S. Navy Admiral Jonathan Greenert said, let's face it, if something moves fast through the air, destroys the molecules in it, and puts out the heat, I don't care how cool it might be, it'll be detected. But what kind of weapons will we see exactly? We're talking about a new type of laser that's supposed to defeat electronic warfare. Such weapons will be able to disable the homing heads of any type of missile. Another fundamentally new weapon against enemies would be the use of computer viruses capable of disabling enemy aircraft systems. Of course, no one forgot about the more familiar weapons, so the aircraft provides for the installation of missiles with an innovative guidance system which will be impossible to shoot down, according to developers. However, so far, all these technologies remain just projects, the appearance of which is expected not earlier than in 10 years. In general, plans for the creation of a sixth-generation aircraft of the U.S. Navy look promising. The FAXX is supposed to be a completely new aircraft, combining the functions of a strike fighter and reconnaissance aircraft. The use of innovative means of communication as well as powerful weapons will allow it to conduct air combat according to new rules. And I'd love to see what happens. What do you think of the FAXX? As always, I'm waiting for your answers in the comments below this video. Likes and subscriptions are also welcome. And a happy new year, dear friends!